Hello, so I'm going to talk about Jesse Fuller, one of the more famous developers of the one-man band show. And he was born in 1896 in Georgia, which is around the time a lot of the pioneers of jazz were born. And he was given away by his mother at the age of seven and lived in foster care where he was beaten and starved and he would go hide and make his own instruments out of things he could find, like little box guitars, and he made a mouth bow out of a stick and some waxed string, and he was very inventive. And he ended up completely running away after third grade and went towards Cincinnati and did all kinds of jobs from running cattle to working on the streetcar line to busking, and then he hopped a freight train when he was a little older and went all the way out to L.A., where he actually got involved in the budding film industry, and he acted in a few movies. And after doing that for a while, he moved towards the San Francisco Bay Area, and worked a lot of jobs up there, welding and working on the railroad lines. And he wrote a lot of songs about working on the railroad. And after World War II, he had a lot of trouble finding more of that kind of work. And he was getting older. And he thought that maybe he would start pursuing music as a career more since he'd always kind of done that and had a passion for it. And he started working with other musicians, but found them too unreliable. And so they were always drinking and gambling. And so he decided to start developing his own one-man band act, using guitar and kazoo and tap dancing and hi-hat cymbal. And he even invented a special kind of bass called a fotdella that he came up with that term with his wife, Gertrude. And it was kind of a cross between a piano and a bass. It was operated by your feet. And some other later one-man band acts used that instrument. And he had quite a stage show that he developed, um, kind of based on his busking past. He used to have a shoe shine stand, and he would do all kinds of jokes and songs between his shoeshine customers. And so he brought that same kind of act into his one-man band show. And he would tell jokes and stories, like funny stories about his life and about his love for his wife and family. And even some really sad stories about his hard times growing up as a runaway kid and in foster care. And he had a lot of success during the folk revival in the 50s and 60s in San Francisco Bay Area and was hired to play at a lot of really big festivals and became really well known and loved. And a lot of really famous musicians covered his songs, especially San Francisco Bay Blues and Beat It On Down the Line, Working on the Railroad. A lot of his songs were covered by the Grateful Dead who were out in that area at the time. And also the song Monkey and the Engineer. And 99 Years and One Dark Day. These are all really famous songs of his. And one of my favorite songs of his that was also covered by Grateful Dead and Eric Clapton, a lot of people, was called the San Francisco Bay Blues. <laughs>
go catch a freight train Cause I'm feeling blue